So the Ivan Novello Awards, um, it recognises excellence in songwriting. Um, who amongst the fellow nominees uh, do you think is kind of pushing the craft forward in 2018? Who amongst the fellow nominees is going to? Uh, who's pushing the craft forward in 2018? One of the issues of being a musician or songwriter is that you tend to lose your hearing quite quickly, which I do. I'm sorry. I, I That's understandable. Um, I really struggle picking favourites. It's just not something I, I do. I don't pick favourite songs, I don't pick favourite artists, I don't pick favourite writers because for me everybody has potential and everybody has a shot at being something and doing something special. So to select or cherry pick anything out of it would be uh, not something I, I would ever do. Um, and you're nominated today uh, for your work with Ed Sheeran. Um, I was wondering how you originally met him and uh, what was it like working with uh, a kind of very prolific songwriter like that? There, there isn't anybody in the world that has Ed's energy um, or his uh, drive to, to write and to connect and to, to make music. Um, I, I've never encountered anything like it. Uh, we met Ed in 2011 um, and he actually toured with us in America and then after we finished the Fallen Empires tour I moved in with Ed and we wrote together for years, we lived together and wrote together. Uh, so he's he's like family, you know. He's he's um, he's closer, much closer than just somebody we know. He's like a little brother to me, and uh, we're actually going on tour with him again in America now in uh, the summer. So we're excited about that. Um, I guess going on tour with Ed will kind of be like you're living with him again. Uh, what um, are you looking forward to this, and what can fans expect from that tour? Yeah, we're really looking forward to it. Um, you know, we've lived together for so long. It's like living with somebody that you've grown up with. Um, and we get excited to see each other because we're close. Uh, so we're going to have fun and it's going to be a great time, great tour. And Snow Patrol recently returned with a new album. Uh, what was the response been so far? How you do this with Jay? Uh, the response has been amazing from the people who are now hearing the album and getting back to us and feedback and they're loving it um, and you know we've just started playing gigs the first time in six years and people have really missed us and that's uh, uh, you know this week we're heading for number one so it's a good welcome back and you've also announced um, a UK tour um, and you're supporting Ed Sheeran in the US I was wondering if you have any exciting support acts booked for your UK tour, maybe Ed Sheeran? Uh, <laughs> maybe, um, we haven't booked our, our supports yet, but um, we're having a look at it pretty soon. So. And um, it's around about halfway through the year, and I was wondering what's been your personal favorite albums released in 2018? Favorite albums that are to be released? That have been released this year. Uh, I'm loving George Ezra at the moment. Um, Christine and the Queens, it's a great album, heard that recently. Um, I'm going to stick with my answer from before and not pick a favourite. Um, I'd be terrible at the horse racing, you know, because I just won't pick a favourite. Um, amongst all of what's going on, there, there, there's so much good music, um, you know, and I, and I think that what we have to do is keep encouraging this craft, especially at events like this, songwriting. Like making sure that we stay focused on that the song is the thing that people sing. They sing along to, they whistle, they fall asleep with it in their head, it soundtracks their lives. It's the thing that, that we remember when we grow older and look back at the song. And uh, finally, Shape of You has been such a massive hit. Um, have you had any kind of moments in public where you've heard someone kind of like singing along to it or, no, or just hearing it in a coffee shop or something, not knowing that you were behind that? Yeah, I had a good one in, a, in a, an Apple store recently where um, the, somebody was testing out some speakers and uh, they put on Shape of You, or Shape of You came on and the guy went, oh no, no, oh god, and he, t and he turned it off. It had obviously been so present on the radio and so much that I think the guy had had enough of hearing it and wanted to hear something else. That was funny, it made me laugh.